Hello everyone, how are you doing? Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. You are welcome to my spiritual TV. In here, we use the power of God to perform signs and wonders. So join us and you would be richly blessed. You would be blessed. God will bless you a lot. So today I'm going to teach you how to wash away poverty. Wash your palm so that your palm would yield lots of results. See, when your palm is cursed, nothing you do will succeed. When you lay your hands on things, you will not make it. That is why you see people, they hustle and hustle and hustle for years. No results. They look tattered. They look wretched because they do strenuous jobs, hard jobs. You see old man of 60-something, see carrying block, building houses at that age. You see old woman. Selling hot akara on the street at the age of 70, that is a curse. That is not normal hustle. But if, as at that age of 70, 60 something, you are still hawking, you are still selling akara, petty things by the roadside, by the roadside, you don't even have a shop, it's a curse. If you have a mother that says under the sun, or under a shade is a cause. It's not a good thing. There is nothing like there is dignity in labor. There is no dignity in that. She has passed that stage. Maybe because you are not blessed. That is why your mother or your dad is still suffering. When you are above 60, there are some jobs you should not be doing. I'm not saying you should sit down. Maybe you can be in a big boutique and you have guests. You sit down there. These are the kind of things mothers above 60 should be doing. Not that you see an old man of 70 driving a bus, a commercial bus. You are still looking for passenger. That work is too tedious for that age. You see an old woman still hawking mineral and pure water on the Thai road, running after buses. It is a curse. It is not good. It is not normal. Even if you are young, you have been doing that years to years. It is wrong. I met with a boy who says mineral and pure water on the roadside. He would put it on his head. He told me he has been doing this for 10 years. I told him, are you proud of it? How can you be hawking for 10 years? Eh, hey, it's God's time. Keep quiet. Keep your mouth shut. What do you know about spiritual things? Who told you it's God's time? Who told you it's God's time? Why would God, a good God, a kind God, allow you, a young boy, energetic boy, to hawk on the Thai road for 10 years? At times, it can happen. Maybe a year or even six months, you are out. But if you stay hawking, doing petty things for too long, there is a cause. There is a problem. It is not physical. It is not spiritual. I know that there is dignity in labor, but not that kind of labor. That is suffering. That is penury. That is not labor. That is it. You should be able to do responsible jobs. If you are selling pure water, there is no problem. Have a shop. Do it well in a classy way. If you are selling drink, it is a good business. After all, if people don't sell drinks, how would we see it to buy and enjoy ourselves? But you need to sell it in a dignified way, not running on the Thai road, expressway, hawking, running after buses. Do you know how many of them has been hit by buses? They are dead. My dear, it is time to do something about it. It is time to stop that. It is time to change your destiny. So now get your sugar. Sugar means good life. When your life is sweet like sugar, you will live a pleasurable life. A life without hardship. A life without problems. A life without setback. You will walk with dignity. You will not do dirty jobs or clean toilet for people. So what you will do, you will go on your knees at midnight and pray on this sugar. Lord in heaven, I'm tired of this suffering. 
I'm tired of this bad luck. Remove bad luck from me. Remove poverty from me. I'm tired of this life. Give me a new life. Bless this sugar. Bless this sugar for me. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And get a bowl of water. Lord in heaven, bless this water. Let this water wash away every bad luck I have. Let it wash away poverty. Let it wash away hard life, painful life, struggles, hustling. Wash all of those things away. Lord, bless this water. Lord, change my life. Lord, I need a change of story. In the name of Jesus, amen. Take a pinch of your sugar. Add it. Don't bother to stay. Don't bother to stay at all. Leave it like this and pray on it. Lord in heaven, bless my palm. Let my palm be fruitful. Bless the work of my hand. I am tired of this job I'm doing. I want a better job. I want a more paying job. I want to do a job that will yield me lots of money. Give me a good job. Lord in heaven, bless my business. I want to stop selling that thing by the roadside. I want to have a company, a supermarket, selling those things. Begin to tell God what you want. What do you want? Do you want business growth? Do you want financial helpers? Do you want a change of story? Begin to pray. When you are done, take the water and wash your hand. I wash out poverty. My hand is blessed. My hand is sweet. Whatever I do, I shall progress. Whatever I do, I shall make it. Whatever I do, I shall make lots of money. This hand will count millions. This hand will count billions. This hand will count trillions. This hand will make it. It is well with this hand. Every cobweb of the enemy blocking the growth of this hand is washed away. I wash my hand with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. From now on, anything this hand touches shall prosper. I shall make it. Even if I hold my result, it will give me a good job. Even if I touch my product, loss of customers, in the name of Jesus, I shall make it. I wash out poverty. I wash out hardship. I shall make it. My hand is sweet and my hand is blessed in the name of Jesus. That is all you need. And that's it. When you are done, throw the water away. And the next morning, you will watch your breakthrough. The next day, do it again. Get fresh water. Pray on it again. Pray on your sugar again and add it to your water. Stay it very well and wash your hands again. Begin to wash your hands. Begin to wash your hands. Your hands are blessed. Your hands will count millions. Whatever you lay your hands upon shall prosper. You shall make it. When your hands are blessed, everything will work out for you in Jesus' name.